Hello, this is Nick. I am in Murnau, Germany, Bavaria, inside of the camp. It's a German military barracks now, but during World War II, it was a prisoner of war camp for Polish officers. Both of my grandfathers, Konrad Szekierski and Kazimierz Bendisz, were both here. One, um, defended Warsaw in September 1939 and then was taken prisoner and the other fought in the south of Poland till his unit ran out of ammunition and was also taken prisoner. They knew each other before the war. They were um, both officers in, uh, in the army and they were in officers school together and then they ended up in the same camp. Lucky for them actually to be captured by the Germans and not by the Russians because all of virtually all of the officers captured by the Russians were killed in Katyn and other places in 1940. The Polish officers here, there were about 5,000 of them, stayed for the duration of the war and they were eventually released when the American army liberated the camp on April 29th, 1945. Coincidentally, April 29th, 1983 is my birthday, so exactly 38 years after the camp was liberated, then um, I was born. Here you have what were to be, before the war, anti-tank vehicle garages were turned into barracks for the soldiers. Here you've got the tour that I'm on now with other people who are descendants of the officers who were in the camp. So you can see the terrain here. Behind me is a large central square. This is where they would have exercises and uh, gatherings. Life in the camp was, it wasn't difficult it, like a concentration camp, of course, it wasn't, it wasn't like that. But naturally these were men in their 20s, officers in their 30s perhaps, so they were itching to get out of here but they couldn't get out. So for almost five years they were here uh, in the camp. There behind me is the main gate to the camp. And uh, so here we have a view of more now. That's all I have for you for now. Thanks for watching. And this is Nick, researchteacher.com, signing off from Murnau, Germany. Bye.